Okay, uh, hello everyone. Welcome to the Embedded Open Source uh, Summit. Today, uh, I and my uh, colleague Hebo, we will introduce uh, a new Zephyr sensing subsystem uh, today. Uh, my name is Ke Han. I'm from Intel. I'm a principal engineer working on the integrated sensor hub solution, uh, focusing on firmware, software, and algorithm. Uh, Hebo, maybe you can also introduce yourself. Hi, uh, I'm a, my name is Hebo Hu. I'm also from Intel, and I'm a senior uh, software uh, engineer and working on integrated sensing solutions and focusing on software forward development. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, this is the agenda item for today. Uh, the Zephyr sensing subsystem is a new concept uh, we introduced this, this year to the community. So we will uh, go through the background on why do we need it. Also, we will uh, show disclose our motivation and what is our goal. We will introduce in detail on how, uh, how does it work, what it is in detail, uh, what is the features, and also we will show an application on what it can do. Uh, we will we will update the status on how far did we go, what did we implement, it, what is uh, not yet. We will also show the demo on how does it work. And it, uh, in the last, we will we will show our next step plan and also our uh, roadmap schedule on this uh, sensing subsystem upstreaming to the Zephyr. Okay, so we are very excited to introduce this new Zephyr sensing subsystem to the community today. Uh, we are also welcome uh, to you uh, if you want to partic participate uh, this uh, into this uh, development together with us. Uh, thank you. So here is a background. So uh, so Zephyr today, as we know, already has a sensor solution introduced. So this is a solution is based on device tree config. It supports uh, uh, it supports the, the developers to develop the sensor device drivers, uh, and with uh, a lot of full sensing features like sensing fetching, triggering, attribute calibration, processing. There are already 140 device drivers uh, in the Zephyr repo, and more than uh, 900 commits. So the typical sensor usage is today on Zephyr is that the Zephyr application directly calls the sensor device driver and uh, uh, stream the data, configure the uh, configure the sensor in different working mode or behaviors. So so this typical usage is uh, is very suitable for the uh, for the simple sensor usages like IoT usages. Uh, in which sensor number is limited, application number is also limited. Um, however, we think uh, this sensor solution today still has a lot to improve. So for example, one improvement area is the sensor application uh, today on Zephyr. They, they are directly interacting with the sensor device drivers in kernel space for all the sensor operations. So there is a, uh, it, is not that friendly for application to directly use a kernel driver. So there is a, a lack of high level abstraction, uh, general function management, multiple client arbitration, and the high level sensor API in the sensor, uh, Zephyr sensor solution today. So, so here is our motivation. Uh, in one short sentence, our motivation is to take the Zephyr sensor solution to next level. So what we plan to do is to introduce a new sensing subsystem and framework uh, to support a bunch of new sensing features, which is, uh, for example, the sensor high level abstraction, general function management, multi-client arbitration, sensor topology, scheduling, fusion, processing, time stamping, batching, and so on. So the new sensing uh, subsystem or framework uh, is on top of the sensor device driver. So it will manage all the sensor device drivers in below, provide a co uh, support co sensor common features, and provide a high level 
uh, sensor API to the sensor application. So multiple sensor application can use the sensor subsystem to access to the sensor data or configure the sensor. And the sensor subsystem will provide multi-client arbitration, which allow the sensor application to freely using the feature without worrying uh, the confliction with another application. And uh, uh, with additional component, our our motivation is that we, we want to introduce this new sensing subsystem as a sensor framework in the sensor hub firmware. It can it will be able to uh, support multiple OS, meet multiple OS sensing requirement, uh, and also the CHIE, the contest hub uh, runtime environment, which is uh, from the Google Android project and is already an um, upstream module in the Zephyr today. Okay, so uh, my colleague Hebo will start to introduce the uh, uh, detail of the sensing subsystem. So Hebo, please go ahead. Okay, now let's have a look at the new sensing subsystem architecture overview. So at the bottom layer is the Zephyr's kernel space. So it's uh, uh, the board BSP drivers includes the I/O purpose like the uh, IAPC, S2C, S3C, SPI, GPIOs, and uh, other things. Also, we have the uh, sensor device drivers like the accelerometer sensor, and gyroscope, uh, 19 sensors. All of these uh, are the existing uh, sensor stack in the Zephyr's uh, in in Zephyr, and the at the middle layer is our the new sensing subsystem. It's in the uh, Zephyr's uh, user space, um, and it is support supposed uh, the high level uh, sensing subsystem APIs with the multiple client support and the Zephyr's high level APIs to support uh, Zephyr up layer Zephyr applications. So at the upper layer is the Zephyr's uh, application. Application it supports uh, multiple uh, sensor clients at the same time to using the uh, same sensing subsystem APIs. Um, okay, so for next. Yeah, this is a major concept uh, for the new sensing subsystem. Uh, first, we have uh, two kinds of uh, sensor abstractions. Includes the virtual sensor, it's focused on the sensor algorithms. And the physical sensor uh, is focused on wrapper for existing sensor device driver and the producing the sensor data to the virtual sensor. And uh, all the, this uh, two kinds of sensor abstractions were uh, uh, composed like a uh, tree mode um, physical sensors report to the virtual, sense, virtual sensors and also virtual sensor can report to another, another virtual sensors and based on this uh, uh, tree model uh, we have uh, two major passes including the config flow and pass and the data stream uh, flow pass the configured flow pass is from the top to the bottom, um, from the application to the uh, sensors. And the data streaming flow pass were from the bottom to the top, from the uh, sensor driver to the same uh, subsystem virtual sensor, and finally to the uh, application client. The whole uh, subsystem supports the multiple clients with the arbitrations. So each sensor can be opened and configured by multiple clients. So we, we uh, and uh, each application client no need to worry about the configuration conflict with other applications. All of this will be uh, carefully handled by the sensing subsystem. For example, at the current we can support the uh, report interview arbitrations. For example, one application set uh, 100 uh, hertz for 
uh, meter sensor and another application set 200 hertz for the same accelerator sensors and the sensing subsystem will arbitrate the report interviews and uh, this new sensor subsystem can also support the uh, Android CHRIE framework so it can meet the CHRIE's platform abstraction layers requirement to see the CHRIE and also it can support the long CHRE Zephyr applications like the HID sensor application to support the uh, Windows clients and also can support the uh, MQTT uh, Zephyr native application to support the IoT uh, products. Okay, next. Okay, so uh, Herbo just introduced the core concept of the Zephyr sensor subsystem. So uh, in this page, we have a table listing the Zephyr sensing subsystem features. So the scope of the Zephyr sensing subsystem is uh, focusing on the sense of fusion, arbitration, sampling, timing, and scheduling. So we will provide a sensor abstraction, uh, which is the physical sensor and the virtual sensor concept. And uh, we will provide different data-driven model, pooling mode and interrupt mode. Uh, the sensor will be scheduled within the uh, Zephyr sensor subsystem. Uh, and also there will be batching support, power management, and uh, uh, we will rely on the existing Zephyr APIs, like sensor APIs, task memory, RTIO, and uh, everything, all the sensor object will be configurable from the device tree. And uh, uh, our design principle says uh, we will take a reference from the Intel proprietary ISH sensor framework design which was already uh, mass production for more than 10 years with active evolution. Our solution will be fully open source as a Zephyr native subsystem. So we already started our upstreaming work in 2023. Uh, our first PR is uh, under review and already submitted. A more PRs is coming later. So and we are working together closely with Google on this upstream work. So the, the, the Zephyr sensor subsystem will be fully configurable. Our key idea is to make it a reusable standalone subsystem. So, uh, so which means that it will be uh, configurable and also flexible. As Herbo just said, it can support multiple different applications like CHIE, like M MQTT, like HID or proprietary applications. And uh, uh, well, in the next few pages, we will show an example of the uh, new Zephyr sensor subsystem application and also the demos uh, uh, of how this work uh, in the on the real board. OK, so. OK, so Hebo. OK, and this is the uh, example application for the Intel's integrated sensor uh, hub implementation for the Chrome OS. So the Intel's integrated sensor hub, it's a integrated uh, a microcontroller uh, integrated into the in, uh, Intel's client SOC. So for the diagram, uh, as you see, for in the bottom, there are ISH related uh, BSP drivers, like the power management and the many purpose. And for sensor drivers, we will reuse the existing uh, Zephyr sensor device drivers like the estimator sensor, GRO, MAC, RS sensors. All of these sensors will reuse the existing Zephyr uh, ecosystems. So based on this the existing uh, standard sensor device driver API, we will have the fully reused the sense, new sensing subsystem to uh, measurement the whole world sensor subsystem and with the virtual sensors which will be re required uh, by the search uh, by the chrome os like the uh, lead angle sen virtual sensors will be implemented 
as the virtual sensor with this new sensing subsystem. And uh, based on this new sensing subsystem uh, APIs, we are have the uh, Zephyr uh, applications. And in this Zephyr application, we have uh, two um, host link clients. One is the HID host link client, which were uh, wrapper uh, underlying sensors from the sensing subsystem and, and the wrapper to the as the standard HID sensors and uh, exposed to the Chrome OS host through the HID and IIO driver stack. Uh, these stacks are uh, already existed in the uh, Linux driver driver code, so all of them will be reusable. And uh, another client is a uh, uh, ZRE host link client. It uh, it can cons consume uh, the same sensors with the HID client at the same time. So with the ZRE framework, we if you have a uh, some uh, uh, feature sensor features which you want to dynamically uh, offload from the host to the sensor hub. So you can use the ZRE uh, stack as the meanwhile. Okay, and we will have a later we'll have a uh, demo video to show all this. Okay, so next uh, to we have a look at current status. So. At the current already, we support the Intel Chrome client, uh, Chrome client reference platform sensor bombs, next the uh, astrometer sensors, hinge angle sensor, virtual sensors, and AR sensors. And uh, with the features we have implemented as all the sensing subsystem APIs, but except the batching, the batching is uh, still uh, working in progress. And the whole fusion framework with the physical sensor and the virtual sensor abstractions and already implement the multiple clients with the CHRE and HID sensor applications running at the same time. For the multiple abstraction, uh, we now support the sensor report interview and uh, data change sensitivities. We at the current we never did the uh, uh, standard Zephyr sensor device APIs for the physical sensors. So all the physical sensors we reused the existing uh, Zephyr sensor device drivers, just as we mentioned in previous uh, pages, and we uh, fully support the polling and the interrupt date driven models with the single thread scheduling. And uh, all of this can be configurable with the device tree. So in the de device tree, you can uh, describe the whole world sensor topologic topologic um, topologics and the uh, relationships. Uh, uh, and we also uh, implement the end-to-end -end sensor streaming data paths for both the HIDIO pass and uh, the CHRE pass. So later we will see this in the live dem uh, uh, demo video. And uh, we have um, started the stream work. Uh, the first uh, proposal has been reviewed with Zephyr community, and the first uh, uh, PR has been submit submitted and now it's under uh, reviewing. Okay, next to have to see the uh, demo video. So we ha have uh, two demo videos here. One is the demo which uh, uh, which on the Intel's client reference board with the SH to support the Chrome OS. And uh, another example shows it how the uh, sensor ex uh, sensing subsystem working with same sensor bombs running on a ARM-based board. Okay, that's first to have the 
uh, demo with the SH, Intel's SH. Let's demo the physical Excel sensors and the hinge virtual sensor data streaming through the CHRE path. Here is the demo with the Chrome OS running on Endlake P development platform. The left side is the ISH formula log output through the UR port. The right side is a SSH console from Chrome OS host. This line is a physical Excel on the base. We can see the base Excel data on the XYZ. It's a unit is a micro G. Since it's lying flat on the table, the value of Z axis is close to one G. This line is a physical Excel on the lid. We can see the lead Excel data on the XYZ. Since it's a vertical to the table, the value of the Y axis is close to 1G. With all the data from the two Excel on the lid and the base, a hinge virtual sensor is created. And we can see the degree of the hinge is 96 degree from the log. Next, let's demo the physical Excel sensors motion detector sensor and the hinge virtual sensor data streaming through HID path. IIO sensor tool is a command line tool based on Linux IIO system. Here, we use IIO sensor tool to enumerate all the sensors information, including sensor index and the names. We specify the value of index to be three to show lit Excel data. And here, the minus N30 means fetching 30 samples, and uh, the minus F100 means setting the frequency to 100 hertz. Then we can see the lit Excel data on the X, Y, and the Z. The unit is meter per square second. The other Excel sensor is base Excel. We specify the value of index to be one, to show base Excel data. Next, uh, the sensor is a motion detect sensor. We specify the value of index to be four. The minus T30 means fetching samples for 30 seconds. When the motion detect is moving, the data is changing from zero to one. And after standing still for a while, the data change back to zero. Here, to show hinge angle sensor, we specify the value of sensor index to be two. When we close the lid, the data is approaching to zero degree. When we open the lid again, the data changes from zero to 180 degrees. Thank you for watching the demo. Okay, let's to have a look about another uh, demo which was running on the ARM open board. Uh, this demo is uh, enabled by Tom Burdick. So thanks for his um, efforts, great efforts. So um, with the sensing subsystem, the same thing uh, supports the both uh, the same uh, sensor ball uh, sens sensors next to two accelerometer sensor and the two virtual sensors next to hinge angle and the motion detect. Okay, so next uh, next Kova introduced uh, our next plan. Okay, thanks Kova. Okay, so this is our uh, next plan. So, so our goal is to catch up the Zephyr 3.6 LTS uh, build, uh, complete the uh, Zephyr sensing subsystem upstream work by the Zephyr 3.6. So right now we are introducing the Zephyr sensor subsystem core with the PR uh, submitted in uh, Zephyr 3.4. 
and we will extend the uh, features and the board support in 3.5, stabilize the solution by 3.6. And in the meantime, we are closely working with Google uh, on enabling the Chrome production support. We will uh, enable the vector sensor subsystem in uh, Google and the Intel Chrome production, uh, meeting all the production requirement. And we will also enable the I Intel ISH with the latest UPX um, open development board, like the one uh, Herbo just showed the ARM open board. There is also a, a Intel uh, ISH open board as well. And uh, furthermore, we will uh, introduce more and more advanced sensing features to this new sensing uh, subsystem, which includes the like, uh, CHIE end to end support, the cross OS support with the HID sensors, the human presence sensing, which is a pretty hot topic in the client sensing world today. We will uh, add the uh, sensing batching, which is uh, right now is still working in progress. We will also support the multi-thread processing, uh, which is important for some heavy workload algorithm processing, and uh, and so on. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So that's all for our presentation today, and uh, welcome to the embedded open source summit and join our session. Um, and uh, if you have any questions or any. Uh, interest, just uh, feel free to contact me or Hobo. Uh, okay, thank you very much. Thank you.